Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. And we're gonna be looking at how you are thinking or feeling about this person. What are the energies between you and them? Uh, what do you need to know? So let's jump right in for Capricorn. Spirit, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please. For Capricorn, regarding love, regarding the person they're thinking about or connecting with, what do we need to know? What do we need to know for Capricorn? What do we need to know for Capricorn regarding love? We'll start with what's going on in your connection. How do you feel about each other? One more shuffle. And then we'll move on to your energy separately. Capricorn. Okay, that feels good. Tell me about what's going on in this connection spirit. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles, the King of Cups. So I feel like someone's holding on to someone that they love, that they have feelings for, that they value. There is um, someone that's interested in you romantically or vice versa. Eight of Wands. Yes, I feel like someone wants to communicate. Let's see, what's this Eight of Wands about? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Page of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Six of Wands. I feel like whoever this is, yes, the sign at the bottom of the deck, like they're hoping for success once they take initiative here. Eight of Wands, Page of Wands. Now, sometimes this could be a message from someone that's really attracted to you, interested in you. Um, this could be someone with like, you know, they, they're very uh, charismatic. And also, they're quick to act. This is someone that's quick to be like, let's go somewhere, let's do this, let's do that. Um, they don't really think about things too much. They're just focused on taking that, you know, going on that adventure, taking that risk. But they're thinking of success. They're like, okay, I, I recognize Capricorn and I'm thinking of success with Capricorn, of having victory here, happiness. I feel like whoever this is, like they've held on to you with like uh, with this King of Cups energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy there. Tell me about this King of Cups. Tell me about this King of Cups. Seven of Wands. Okay, can I get one more for this King of Cups? Tell me about this King of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like this is someone and the Page of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. I feel like, I don't know, I'm getting like they fought their feelings here or, or maybe they've had to fight for you or maybe they've had to fight against an obstacle to bring you this offer, this Ace of Pentacles. They're very serious about you, whoever this is. I don't, uh, this is not a player energy that I'm getting here. Like they definitely want to make you a solid offer, have success with you. But there's a lot of feelings behind this as well. Can I get some insight into the energies between Capricorn and this individual? What do we need to know about the energies between Capricorn and this other person? Poetic justice. You have justice and balance will be restored. What's going on here between Capricorn and this other person? Past life. It's about balancing something from the past having justice, having things kind of work out here. Let's get an ever after. I'm using my own Oracle decks in this reading. They are designed by me and sold on Etsy. If you wanna um, check them out, they're linked in the description box. True love's kiss, dating love soulmates. Okay, so I'm not getting from here any energy that this had to have been an ex that I don't know, like uh, it could be a past life person. It doesn't have to be like an ex that you had a connection with in this lifetime, but we'll see. We may not jump to conclusions. <laughs> Let me see what's going on here. So let's um, do individual energies here. I'm gonna do you first, Capricorn. I'm gonna have you on the left and then your person will be on the right, but the energies could uh, be exchangeable because energy is fluid. So take it as it resonates. Let's start with you, Capricorn. Spirit, tell me about Capricorn. What are their energies when it comes to this individual, this connection? 
The Two of Swords, conflicted, unsure. Maybe you don't see this coming either. Let's see what else. What does Capricorn need to know about this energy? Ten of Cups. I think you see the potential, but you're undecided about something. Tell me more about Capricorn. Tell me more about Capricorn. Strength. Maybe you need courage, inner strength. Maybe you just need to step back, not really control the situation, but more like see where it goes. Leo energy there. Can I get one more? Can I get one more, please, for Capricorn? The hangman. I feel like um, a lot of you are thinking about various possibilities here and it's hard for you to let go of control because it's almost like you don't really like not knowing how something will end up or how something will happen bottom of the deck is the lovers gemini energy so i feel like okay the lovers the traditional meaning of this card is the duality of you know what goes on between the two sides of you. So the logical side and the emotional side. And you have to kind of choose which one of those sides you're gonna use to make a decision, if that makes sense. So I feel like you're fighting yourself here, Capricorn, because if you went by your emotions, you would make a certain decision. And if you went by your logic, you would make another decision, is what it looks like here. I feel like you're conflicted because maybe this person scares you a little bit. Maybe the connection is very strong. Maybe this feels like an instant soulmate, or maybe you already had a connection in the past with this person that didn't work out. And so, I don't know, I feel like a lot of you are trying to be maybe flexible or see things from a different angle, but maybe this doesn't come natural to you or it doesn't come easily to you. There's, um, there's a conflict here between what you your practical side and like the other side that's like, let's just go for it. Can I get some insight into what Capricorn is thinking or feeling, please, Spirit? What is Capricorn thinking or feeling when it comes to this person, this connection? Mistakes. Maybe mistakes were made. Maybe this person made mistakes. Maybe you made mistakes. What else? What is Capricorn thinking or feeling? departure okay so what i'm getting here is okay if this person made a mistake i feel like you walked away and you kind of like shut shut that down i think that some of you were like i'm going to distance myself i don't want to get hurt i don't want to have to deal with a situation where you know things don't work out or or i'm mistreated or something like that others of you i feel like there has been I feel like I'm speaking to a Capricorn that's watching. This happened a long time ago. And now it's like you're different people. I feel like you've been through different journeys. But in the back of your mind, you still think about how things ended. Even though there's been a long time since then. You still, it's almost like you still wonder if that would happen again. It's almost like I'm um, speaking to a Capricorn where usually if you spot a red flag, even if it's a yellow flag, you're like, I'm gone. I don't want to deal with that. And maybe this is a situation where you can't be like that or you have to think differently because maybe you have been that person in the past, but it hasn't really worked out for you. Or maybe you were too tough on this person, too harsh on this person. It could also be that this happened a long time ago and they did mistreat you. They were terrible to you and they deserved to be treated the way they were back then but many years have passed since then something like that is what i'm getting here let me know what the story is in the description i mean in the comment section so let's look at this other person tell me about this person that capricorn is has or will be dealing with what are their energies towards capricorn what are their energies I need to know about this person. The fool, willing to take a risk, a new start, a fresh chapter, a brand new page. Justice, Libra energy, making things right, something more balanced, fair to you. And the four of cups. So this person's ready for something new. They're ready to take a leap with you and like a fresh start. 
there's the moon pisces energy and i think in their mind um you know it's almost like they're trying to reassure you yeah the two of wands they know that this decision is up to you they expect that you know some of you might just reject them outright because you want more clarity than they can really give you all they can tell you is it's going to be different i'm willing to do things that are fair to you that are balanced to you justice um and and have a new start a new beginning page of swords at the bottom of the deck so i feel like they're telling you the truth um but it's almost like it, uh, love is about vulnerability love is about risk so it's almost like they're telling you but if we're going to really do this we have to trust each other we have to see where it goes I cannot guarantee to you what's going to happen two years from now, four years from now. That's impossible for me to do. I feel like what, you know, it's, it's, and that's where the challenge comes in for you, Capricorn, because I think in your mind, you need to know those things, but that's not how love works. Unfortunately, we are, none of us have a crystal ball where we know exactly how things are going to end up. And I think that's what this person's telling you. But whoever this is, I feel like their intentions are genuine as of right now from what I see here. There's nothing that really makes me pause, makes me nervous. Um, I think that, you know, it's natural to be scared. It's natural to be hesitant. I don't think that you should jump into anything, rush anything, you know, turn off your blinders or anything like that. But at the same time, if you want love, it comes with risks. Tell me more about this person's feelings, energies towards Capricorn. What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Capricorn? Everything reminds me of you. I know that you are my soulmate. So they've thought about you since whatever happened. They know that you are the person they want to be with. I want to get a different duck. My secret moon oracle deck. What else? I haven't used this deck for anyone else, but I feel like using them this deck right now. What else do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Capricorn spirit? What do we need to know? I'm afraid to tell you how I feel and I want a second chance at the bottom of the deck. So this person hasn't been able to let you go, it seems like. Um, they, want a, they want a new start, a, a clean slate with you. It's what it looks like here. Um, but it's not up to them. All they can do is make you promises, be honest with you about their intentions, and tell you that, hey, I'm thinking that, you know, whatever happened in the past was not fair to you. This time I want to be fair to you because poetic justice is here and justice is here. Those are very like, I'm not playing around energies. And I feel like this person, I think they just want to try. I don't think that this person, I mean, they are giving you um, their intentions to give you an ace of pentacles, but they're not promising you a 10 of pentacles, for example. Um, it's almost like they can just promise you to start things off on the right foot and see where it goes. And it's like, that's the chance they want. They just want that small chance to prove themselves to you over time is what it seems like here. Of course, it'll be up to you, Capricorn. Some of you are like, no way, no how, it'll never happen. And that's fine. You're, that's more than, I mean, that's well within your right to feel that way, to have that reaction. Um, others of you, though, I feel are willing to give this person a second chance, try things out slowly, but there's something in the back of your mind that's like, you know, you need to relinquish control and that's not easy to do. It's like you need to risk your heart a little bit and that's not easy for you to do. And there's obviously reasons why that you feel that way. But if you really do want to see what love could be, you will have to relinquish control with someone. So I'm going to leave that there, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the reading, don't forget to hit that like button before you leave. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another reading very soon. Take care.